Hi everyone, this is Anita with Workflow Grow, bringing you this week's Express Desk Stretch. And you may have figured out by the title, uh, I've got COVID. I managed to successfully evade this nasty virus for two and a half years. And despite being fully vaccinated and double boosted, it's still caught up with me. And so I, uh, first of all, and most importantly, honored my body and it took some days to rest because that's really what it needed. Um, but I'm starting to come out of the fog a little bit. And so I researched some things to do some exercises and stretches to do in order to just get my motor going again, because I got to get on with life. I got dogs to walk and dinner to cook and work to do. Um, so I wanted to find some low impact things to do that could re-energize me. And you know what, whether you're dealing with COVID or you're just plain tired um, and need to re-energize your workday, these exercises and stretches will do that same thing, will accomplish the same thing for you. So with Without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. But as always, we'll start with a little bit of breath work just to get you centered and grounded. And today's breath work is actually not only helping you to get center, centered and grounded, but also to ignite you and to energize you. And it's called Ujjayi breathing. And so you breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. It helps to build an inner fire. But before we do that, let's do two cleansing breaths. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. So Inhale, clear it out, exhale. One more time, inhale, clear it out, exhale. Now that same energy, but with your mouth closed. In through the nose, out through the nose. Three more, in through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Last one. All right, we'll get started with our stretches and try to focus on maintaining that Ujjayi breath as we do these exercises and stretches. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin doing some stretches and exercises that will help battle any kind of fatigue, whether it's COVID brought on or just the wear and tear of the day. So we'll start as we usually do with a slight modification. Normally we start with sun salutations standing up. Today, just because I don't have quite the energy, I'm gonna start with sitting down until I build up a little bit of blood flow and energy. So I'm sitting on the edge of my desk chair, any chair will do and uh, my feet are firmly grounded into the into the floor and so reach your arms up for an extended mountain connect with your breath you use your ujjayi breathing here in through the nose inhale exhale through the nose forward fold halfway lift draw your shoulder blades in towards your spine press them into your body forward fold exhale extended mountain inhale one more time, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, extended mountain. All right, so just to warm up getting out of the chair is I want to bring some more blood flow to my legs because I really have not been using them much in the last few days. So take your arms out in front of you to parallel with the floor. Again, your feet are about shoulder width apart and firmly planted into the floor. And be careful with a rolling chair um, uh, that uh, it doesn't roll away from you when you stand up or when you sit down. But we're gonna do some uh, chair, some seated chair squats. So starting from your chair, just uh, without using your hands, uh, stand up and then squat down. You can just tap your bottom on the chair or you can fully sit down. Just be careful if you have casters on your chair so it doesn't roll away from you. All right, let's do that three more times. Stand up and sit down, stand up. So not only does this use your legs and bring some blood flow there, it also engages your core just a little bit, which is very important part of just you're feeling good, your well-being. And take one more, stand up, 
and come down and stand up last time. Now push your chair just back a little bit. It's from your standing position. Start with your feet together. You can have your hands on your hips or your hands at heart center. I'm gonna do my hands at heart center. And now we're gonna do some side center squats. So side squat, step your right foot out to the right, come into a squat and come back to center into a squat. Left side step squat, center squat. We'll do that three more times each side. So this is just a very low impact way, getting your motor going, getting your blood flowing and creating muscle action, especially in your legs, which you may not have been using much in the last few days if you have had COVID. And here we go. That certainly has been the case for me. And last one and back to center. Okay, so now I'm actually feeling much more energized and um, so we're gonna move on to our next exercise. You can use the aid of your chair or not. I'm gonna start with my chair to demonstrate that and then I'm gonna move away from the chair. So this is some um, hip rotations, or, which is a great hip opener. If you've been sitting, you know, watching TV or reading because you can't do much else, um, your, your hips get kind of tight from all of that resting. <laughs> um, but the same thing is true from your work day if you're sitting at work all day. All right, so you can start with your left hand on the chair, ground down into your left foot, bring your right knee up to about hip height and take your right arm out to the side. Rotate your hip out to the right, bring it back down and bring uh, your foot to the floor. And we're gonna repeat that a total of eight times. So that's two, three, and four. Feels really good on the hips. I'm gonna now take my arm out to the side to engage a little bit more balance. Keep using your breath here. That will bring ease to this effort. Use your gaze, try to focus on a spot in front of you, which will help you to uh, improve your balance as well. And also that whole COVID brain fog thing is a thing. Um, so it helps you to uh, focus your brain a little bit too and bring it down. All right, I'm gonna to switch to the other side. So I'm gonna move my chair over to this side. I'll start again with my chair just to feel steady and then we'll go from there. All right, lift your knee up, take it out to the left, back to center and down. Knee up, out, center, down. Up, out, center, down. This is number four. And then I'm gonna to switch to balancing. You're welcome to keep holding onto a chair or the wall. And definitely feeling a difference when I take my hand off of the chair. Have to engage my core a little bit more and definitely that focus. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. Kind of lost count, but we're gonna do one more for good measure. And whoop, okay. <laughs> Back to center and down. Okay, two more little stretches, exercises, and then we will wrap up. And we've done this before, but this is a great one for when you're feeling tightness um, in your chest or achiness in your back, which definitely has been the case for me in the last few days. And I call this T-ball. It's a great way of stretching out the front of you as well as strengthening your back. All right, so T-ball, so you make a big T basically with your body, arms out wide, take your gaze and your chin up towards the whatever's above you, inhale, exhale, hug everything into a tight ball. Inhale, T, exhale, ball. Pull the pit of your belly in and up when you do that ball. T, draw your thoracic spine in, squeeze everything in to your spine and ball. One more time, T, and ball. And we'll wrap up how we began, but this time standing up because I do truly feel much more invigorated. I hope you do too. We'll close with two sun salutations. Extend a mountain, reach up, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift. By standing up, you feel more opening in your hamstrings. Also, forward fold, extend a mountain, forward fold, halfway lift. Forward fold, extended mountain. And just bring your hands to heart center to close 
Thank you once again for joining me for Express Desk Stretch. Whether you are dealing with COVID, have dealt with COVID, or just having a, a tired day, I hope you find these exercises and stretches to be in energizing and reinvigorating. We'll see you next time. Bye.